Hello, my name is Shirley Self, and I'm here to talk astrology. Tonight I wanted to talk about uh, Moon Phase 11, Liz Cheney. But uh, let me uh, review for you uh, the particulars of a Moon Phase 11, and then I'll introduce you to Liz Cheney. Okay, Moon Phase 11 is right here. It's an initiation phase right in the heart of the water quarter. And you know what we're doing in the water quarter? We're uh, being introduced to the depths of the uh, subconscious and um, from whence all creativity springs. And at moon phase 11, this is when the uh, uh, emotional body is dragged down into uh, consciousness of its uh, spiritual power. It's the initiation of Persephone. Um, Pluto has drug her down into the uh, underworld and um, introduced her to sex there. And, um, and what she has realized down there is that she is uh, holy, that she is the goddess. And so that's what, you'll notice that Moon Phase 11 encompasses in the Leo uh, a sign, the complete decadent of Sagittarius uh, spirit. So uh, it, the purpose of a moon phase uh, 11 is to, to uh, turn the um, logical consciousness, the solar brain, to attend to the lunar consciousness, which is now down in awareness of uh, spiritual power and spiritual cre creativity. Uh, virtually in, in uh, contact with its own ideal self. So, uh, and, and the world beats up on a moon phase 11 and a moon phase 12 until they do that, that work, until they uh, give up trying to find guidance in the outer world and look in their inner world to find that guidance because it's their own spiritual guidance that is necessary for the continuation of the cycle here, that they become conscious of that, that they become creative. So a moon phase 11 is uh, one of the power rectangle, 5, 11, 19, and 25. Um, these are the people who are attaining to power, personal power. Um, and uh, that, so it, it it behooves them, you know, to they they do tend to abuse their power because they have it, and because they're usually quite innocent uh, uh, in that power. It's newly attained or newly discovered, so it can be quite subject to abuse. And I try to think, remember that when I think of Mitch McConnell, who is Moon Phase Five, as. Um, He's innocent to power, I keep telling myself. He's innocent to power. Boy, is he. Well, anyway, um, I, hard to forgive. So, um, Moon Phase 11 has um, uh, access to her own spiritual truth. And that own spiritual truth um, can quite easily, comfortably gauge the truth of what's going on out, out in the world. It's uh, very much in tune with natural law, the way uh, things should move, the way things uh, move when they are moving in sync, when life is copacetic. So uh, and with that kind of attunement, um, what, they, what they are to do is to... Um, um, express that truth by, uh, the call of the Eleven is called the Iconoclast. And that means that it um, um, points to lies and, uh, uh, well, specifically lies. It's the, it's the emperor has no clothes. Uh, it's not innocence so much as it's necessity um, to tell the truth. They uh, know the truth. If they don't tell the truth, it will um, badly affect their self-esteem, and they can indulge in uh, rage and self-hatred. This is a problem with this, with this uh, quarter, rage. 
and uh, self-hatred really builds up over in here because uh, you're virtually um, penitente, you're flagellating yourself for uh, the mistakes that you make. Even though I've seen people who <laughs> make the mistakes and do not flagellate themselves, uh, maybe they think they're doing it right. Um, I'm thinking of Donald Trump. Anyway, he's a 14. So don't fall down. Don't fall down. There you go. So what else do I want? Okay, the, you know, we're here in Leo. The uh, a sign of your own uh, authority. And Sagittarius. And this is a very powerful authority because the spiritual authority and is uh, uh, the basis of of your own authority, your own spiritual powers, uh, Jupiter and the sun. So um, what you have to do, in, what 11 and uh, 12 have to do in this, in this cycle is to free themselves, to free their uh, actions from the power, uh, other authority, all out of authority. They're finding their own authority, and it's a spiritual authority. And if they do not... Uh, uh, hue to that uh, inner authority, I like to say, self-hatred and rage can ensue. Um, what they'll have is uh, uh, convictions, feelings of conviction. Remember, the feelings are in tune with uh, the spiritual um, powers. And um, so that gut feeling tells, uh, tells Moon Phase 11 that whether uh, that is true or false out there. And uh, they have to speak up. They're supposed to, be, they're supposed to speak up um, and tell the truth as they perceive it. Um, and, and they have a real talent. The whole, the whole uh, rectangle has this incredible talent of being able to put things in a way that other people can understand. And they have a talent of rhetoric which is a, a talent for uh, telling things uh, in the way that you understand, in the, in the way that um, I have swayed your attitude. Um, so uh, so the, these two, 11 and 12, they get beat up until they find solitude, until they turn inward and uh, uh, to virtually reconnect with Persephone. Remember in the uh, fable of Persephone, who was finally sent down to re retrieve Perse for Persephone, was Mercury. And, um, and that's what Moon Phase 11 has to do. So, um, a problem Moon Phase 11 has is, is uh, they're not terribly powerful in their... Uh, in their convictions. They can be dissuaded. They can be, they're very vulnerable to censure. That makes them feel bad when people don't, don't agree with them. And people don't agree with them a lot because uh, Moon Face 11 is pointing out, you know, that the emperor had no, has no clothes kind of thing. So um, f 5 and 11 um, do not appreciate the um, negative reaction of the world around them. To what they've had to say. Um, 19 is working through that. By God. 25 doesn't give a damn what you think. So um, it's a work in progress. So uh, their, their talent is um, communication. Their uh, truth is their weapon. Let's see. Um, so I wanted to show you Liz Cheney. Okay, here she is. I do not have a, a birth time. So what we have is the sun on the ascendant here. It's a solar, solar chart. Um, she was born the 28th of July in 1966 in um, Madison, Madison, Wisconsin. Um, Ms. Cheney is the daughter of uh, the former vice president, Dick Cheney. Um, she is uh, uh, quite a powerhouse in the Republican Party, 
and part of it is due to who she is, who she is. But a great deal is part of the fact, due to the fact of um, what she does and how she does it. She's a Leo. You can see this sun and uh, the Mercury in Leo there. The Mercury is actually a few minutes behind the sun. Um, so it is Gazami, which is uh, debilitating for the Mercury, hard for the Mercury to be um, objective. Um, what's leading the sun is this uh, stellium, this Cancer stellium of Jupiter, Mars, and um, Venus. And this stellium is uh, pretty much uh, is right in the heart of the United States Cancer stellium. And so I think she has, she's got that Jupiter in, in Cancer there. I think she has um, really the f feeling of people uh, at heart. Uh, she needs to, I think, in order to, to work properly, to uh, brighten her horizons of who her people are. Um, so what do we have to say about, oh, the um, Jupiter Oriental is a quest. Um, and, and this is, uh, has to do with the quest for the health and well-being of, of people. Of people, um, the uh, okay, the rhetoric. Remember, I was telling you about how uh, talented that they are with rhetoric, and we've got this uh, Pluto Uranus conjunction here in Virgo on the cusp of the solar third house. Um, so, and that shows you the power of um, of um, her communications. Um, the south node here in Scorpio, mm. Scorpio, Taurus, south node, uh, no nodes are difficult, very difficult, because they're very grasping. They get a hold of and don't turn loose. Um, so we've got this uh, south node in Scorpio um, conjunct the Neptune, and there's a, a feeling of betrayal here. A deep feeling. You you stick the south node next to something, and you're going to uh, inevitably bring out the its worst qualities. So you can you can um, uh, it, the best qualities are there, and they're easy. They're easily attained. But the the worst there's a tendency to toward the worst qualities because you know like the south node is uh, where you retreat to. It's virtually the buffalo wallow of your horoscope. Um, the North Node is up here in Taurus, and um, so what it's asking is a um, a change from being led by this Mars to being led by this Venus, and both of them are uh, are ruled by this Sag Moon and Sag. We don't know where the Moon is. You know, I don't know where she was born. I would really like to know that because I'd like to know how she's playing her hand here. Um, but the moon is in Sag all day. And um, what was it? Oh, and so virtually these guys are ruled by this Jupiter because the Jupiter rules the moon. The moon and Jupiter are in what they call mutual reception, a very um, a nice relationship. And can be very bene uh, beneficial, even if and when the uh, uh, actual planets are in a difficult aspect to each other. Um, so, what she's asked for is she's asked she's asked to um, um, the Jupiter Venus is uh, the ultimate benevolence. The United States, you know, has a Jupiter Venus conjunction in uh, in Cancer, and. So does Liz Cheney. Um, and, um, and, and that's what the world's asking for her, uh, from her. Um, uh, more benevolence and less um, martial arts. And she, let's talk about this Chiron Saturn up here. This Chiron Saturn, that's a real hit to one's self-esteem. That's uh, um, wounding by the father. And the interesting thing is that uh, Dick Cheney's moon 
and I do have Dick Cheney's horoscope, I f found it the other day, the moon is right here at 23 degrees Pisces. It's right there on that Chiron. And so I have a feeling that her father was disappointed that she was a girl. Disappointed in her that she was a girl. Um, I don't think he has any reason to be disappointed in her. Um, she's very, like I said, the South Node is ruled by uh, the Mars, and she is very... Um, understand that Mars in Cancer isn't a, a aggressive at all, but um, it, it, um, it's conjunct Jupiter. And so there can, there can be a great deal of aggression expressed um, uh, quite subtly. Um, remember, the moon itself is in Sagittarius. So there can be, uh, she can uh, spontaneously and effectively act. Um, um, uh, appropriately at, at, in the moment. Um, so let's, uh, but this gives a, a real benevolence to her, uh, her chart. This uh, North Node up there in uh, Taurus. So the okay, the Chiron. Um, that's the father, you know. The Chiron conjunct Saturn is uh, a father, uh, a, a wounding by the father, and. Um, Okay, and so she's, and it's a, a no, notice. Okay, let's let's talk about her. Um, did I have anything else? Oh, yeah, okay. That that Chiron uh, Saturn, that's a struggle against institutionalized lies, institutionalized error, and uh, that's eleven for you. They have that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to. Uh, um, make it known that um, that that wounding should not go on, and she, I think Liz Cheney can do that. Um, should she actually um, be forced to do the, the the go into solitude and do the inner work? Um, and like I say, eleven and twelve, they don't want to do it. It is really they're very. Um, they're very social animals, and being as solitary as they uh, need to be is really kind of hard on them. Um, so, it, right here on the midheaven of the solar chart, she's got a Pallas, Athena, and Aries. Pallas, Athena, and Aries is, you know, um, Pallas, Athena is uh, the goddess that sprang full blown from the head of uh, Jupiter. Uh, she is a, a warrior goddess, and she fights. Uh, she f fights on behalf of um, um, male interests, and she in an, in Aries. She's very uh, uh, martial, very um, aggressive, and so um, Liz Cheney has has got a lot of uh, good hard work and male energy, and I think that. Considering what she's going through now, um, that I think she will uh, be able to duke it out with the boys. Understand, uh, uh, Mars in um, Cancer isn't exceptionally hard. It's or hardy. It's um, easily diverted. It's uh, remember, it's it's in its uh, fall. Um, so, where was it? Oh, I was one to talk. This girl, this uh, Pallas Athena, is a, a warrior goddess, is square to Jupiter. Um, and that's a conflict between ambition and ethics. And that's um, a, a kind of the uh, difficulty an 11 has at the very beginning. 11 um, really wants to succeed in, in other people's terms. Um, and it needs to learn it, that, that succeeding in your own terms is too much to be desired. So um, this conflict is uh, very much involved 
um, with this image that she has. Now, the South Nodes, there's an image of power that she has. And I, I think that um, uh, the uh, Pallas Athena will feminize a, a little bit this image of power, which was very, very, very male. Because she's going to need, she can use this power. Notice this sextile, sextile trine, this little triangle here, that it connects this Neptune, the uh, uh, Pluto-Uranus uh, conjunction, and the Jupiter. And this gives her a tremendous handle on on uh, the bigger, the greater forces, the forces that control our lives. This is a, a capacity for heroic action that can have um, real uh, um, progressive, progressive um, results. So. Um, this, oh, this Pallas Athena, uh, she's a mistress of the arts of government. I like that because uh, so, is, um, so is Liz Cheney, and we're becoming the mistress of the arts of government. And um, understand her father is very powerful with her, and he's holding her back. He's this image of, uh, of power, how to use power. Right down there. Um, but there she's also, in her father, has got the image of the destruction that comes from that male power. She understands. She sees the, uh, the negative effects of the use of that power. Um, so this is just asking her to be kind. This North Node in, in Taurus is is saying, do what you do because I think you've got the interests of people, the people of this country at heart. Um, but be gentle and be kind. And um, so that's about all I have to say about Liz Cheney. Her Pluto is right here. I mean, his her dad's Pluto is right here on her son. It's a very different, difficult uh, connection with her father. And uh, she needs to work past it to develop her own image of who she is and how that power can be used by her to good effect, to great effect. She's led by this quest, this quest. And here's her gut feeling that can guide her. She's led by this gut feeling. Notice, notice the cancer through planets and cancer. So, if she can pay attention to those convictions and, be, and learn to be kind, <laughs> I think she can make a big difference. I, she's going to have to, um, she's going to, have to convince people that there is still viability in a conservative Republican Party. Um, she never did go along with Trump. She um, yelled... <laughs> The emperor has no clothes and he's a big fat liar. She yelled that for four years. And is now unwilling to go along with the uh, Republican march into uh, Donald Trump's alternative reality. So I think she could, she could be a leader in uh, the remnant of the Republican Party that actually wants to, uh, wants to govern and to, to do right by the people. So, good luck to Liz Janey. Um, and I'm hoping that you are uh, staying well. I've had my shots, and I feel very, very blessed. Um, uh, wear your mask. Be kind to each other. And tell people you love that you love them. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.